Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Hiking Happens. I'm Kay. I'm Ro. And today we're Sergeant Jazz when we're out on the AT. Ready for section five. Yes, we're in New Jersey, in Blairstown, New Jersey. This is the small little parking lot at the end of section five. Um, you're really only gonna get about two cars in here. Um, that's uh, Twitch over there. We're gonna take his car up to the start point. <laughs> Um, there is a larger lot, about two tenths or maybe a tenth of a mile uh, up Millbrook Road here, uh, right where the AT is coming through. So uh, we'll be checking that lot out just as we're finishing up this section. Fossil. Hey. Hi, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> hey, now we are at Culver's Gap, uh, the start point for section five. We got everybody on board here, right? Maybe. So. The first thing we got to do before we start section five, uh -oh. it's actually finished section four. <laughs> oh, that's right. right? We, we said got, we would do. We got it. three. I, I, I thought forget. you would forget. I didn't think anybody was going to remember <laughs> that. Sarge, Sarge would not forget that. So <laughs> it's on the way. It's three tenths of a mile. As soon as we hit uh, Route 206, that's the end of section four, and then we start section five. You guys ready? All ready. Head right. <laughs> out this way and catch the AT south. <clears throat> and that was a very short trek from the park lot out to Route 206 here. We'll officially end section four. You can see uh, going to make a left-hand turn on uh, 206, a little bit down that way to start section five. All right, congratulations on finishing section four. Yay. We're not done yet. Just got another 15 miles to finish up section five. Ready to start it? Ready. If we don't die crossing Route 206 here. Uh, I think we have to go down that way a little bit and make a, a right-hand turn somewhere around that guardrail. Uh, so Jazz just wants to know, what the heck are all these people doing out driving like eight, not even 8.30 in the morning? So you gotta cross 206 here, get behind this guardrail, and then the trail goes up from there. Twitch has an eye on it. There you go, right here. Nice. You guys ready? And it's gonna start climbing steeply here. Awesome. Yay. So some things to expect today on section five. Um, I think it's going to rival section four as far as distance, uh, a little over 15 miles, um, around 15. And uh, I think we'll actually have more elevation changes today than we had in section four. Uh, right now we're heading steeply uphill just crossing to a six at the beginning. Uh, it's gonna be all along the Kinnatini Mountain Ridge again. And uh, I think we'll have ample opportunity for some nice views all along the ridge like we had last time. Uh, it's a little cloudy yet this morning, but I think it's supposed to be sunny and clear later this afternoon. <clears throat> the shelter, Brink Shelter, comes up rather soon and under four miles um, should be a privy there in water after that there's not much until you get up around crater lake uh, <clears throat> um, that's whew, well, that's past nine miles at least there is one particular view near the end of this hike I'm very excited to see. I've been waiting a long time to see. And I uh, will let you know what that is when we get there. So Fossil and I are waiting for Jazz and Twitch to catch up. Twitch is sometimes known as bringing up the rear. <laughs> Not spent already, are you? Not much. <laughs> yeah, Nelson's no burning out. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be good once we get up on the ridge line here, then it's not so bad. But. Yeah, no, I mean, I've done 
four other sections, I don't think this one's going to be yeah. the end of me. I'm not carrying you now. Yeah, it's too late now. Maybe on six? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the ridge line, guys. That's a pretty strenuous climb. For out of the box. Yeah, right out of the box. We're about a mile in, up from 206. Got a little spent already, so we're gonna take a break here on the ridge line. Jazz? Yes. You got some new shoes today? I did. What do you got? I got Merrell's. Merrell Moab 2. Moab 2, they're right. very comfortable. Good so far? Good so far. All right, let's just shaking them out on a 15 mile hike. They're a little bit wider than the oboes I had, which were a little snug. But All right, we'll I check. a lot of miles on those, so. We'll check back with you in a little bit and how you're doing with them. You got it. Nice. Views are opening up. About 1.4 miles in here. We got easterly views. Now there's Culver's Lake. You guys happen to see the uh, Culver's Fire Tower out there anywhere? I heard it's supposed to it's supposed to be visible out there. You know the fire tower we passed last time. There's like a little shining thing straight out. Yeah. That's probably the top of the fire tower. Okay, so we're just gonna make stuff up? Yeah. <laughs> no, it went away it's now. Point. It went away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably right there. No, yeah, it's not out there anymore. I don't know. Oh, the sun could have changed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going with that. So I think we got some uh, easy walking across the ridge line here for a while, which is welcome. That's, sun is out, it's getting hot and humid, bugs are all over us. Uh, we do have three mountains to go over, um, and Tad, you did that with us once before. Uh, excuse me, Twitch. <laughs> Buttermilk? Uh, yeah, over that area. Uh, Blue Mountain, Bird Mountain, and Rattlesnake Mountain. Um, and we did that marathon hike over there one time. Then I should be able to fly over. Yeah, we did it once before, but we were we were under a different uh, mental state. Yeah, you can <laughs> on that. Yeah. Well, no, I, I can I can put us back in the same mental no. state if you'd like to. I will pass on it. Come on. Uh, it almost killed me last time. Uh, <laughs> All right, who's leading? Yes. Um, there's from that. Culver's Fire Tower, there's a trail that goes down a little bit over to that cell tower. So now we're thinking that that cell tower out there, right behind there, there's a, looks like a little tower sticking up. That could be the Culver's Fire Tower. Wait, I think, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was just commenting how flat the trail was. And here we are in another incline. Well, I guess we're going to have several of these up and downs. And you know, I think it's highly unlikely that we're going to see any northbound through hikers this time. It's, uh, what's today? Today is August 26th. So we're super late in the season for northbound hikers to be in New Jersey. If they want to make it to Maine before they close Baxter State Park in October. I suppose there's a possibility we could see a southbound hiker. Uh, I'm not sure when they start, uh, but it's kind of hard to cross paths with them when we're heading in the same direction because we're also heading southbound. What time of year do you think the southbound hikers take off from Maine? In April? Well, uh, many years ago I encountered a southbounder down in the Dell Water Gap area, and that was first week of October. She had left in August. She left August and was targeted in December to be in Georgia. Psychedelic Ooh. mushrooms. Yeah, purple. Purple, yeah. huh? Yeah. 
Cái quá. See these are the pink these are the oh, pink granite. Like yeah. This is a pretty area passing through some forest, the conifers, saw some white pines. I don't know if a hemlock. Very pretty. I think that's a trail log on the tree there. Check it out. That's all May still. Yeah. Oh. These May, are all June, your through July. hikers probably. It's coming yeah. into July. Mouse, moss killer. Moss killer. <laughs> <laughs> moon moon <laughs> pants. <laughs> Remember moon <laughs> pants? <laughs> yeah, are they? Yeah, this is July, but it's You're full. Buggy. Okay. Someone needs to replenish this oh, trail map. We're what, 2.3 miles in here, I think? No, uh, 3.2. So we're on uh, about three and a half miles in. This is. This dirt road is called Brink Road. And I think we have to head down here to the shelter. We gotta go to the right to go to the shelter. I'm gonna, I think it's only like a couple tenths of a mile. It's not supposed to be too far. There would be a sign there. Yeah. Are you going to Yeah, I think it's down Brink Road here, so. Oh, wait, there's a sign. Oh, there, okay. There is a sign on the tree over there. All right, we're good. Yeah, we're just well, coming I'm... up on the shelter now. There's a little path here that has a water source on it down that way. Well, this is a relatively new shelter compared to what we've seen. This one was built about 10 years ago um, to replace the original Brink shelter, which I think was done back in the 1930s by the CCC, like some of those other ones. Uh, but we've got a nice new one here now. Bear box over there. Privy, see Privy? I see the sign for the Privy. Oh, there is a sign for a Privy. I'm trying to find where this Privy is. Uh, it's not evident right away. Oh, I see something popping up over the hill back here. Alright. Usual setup. Um, pretty clean seat. Hand lotion. Very nice. So, after finding that trail log full, a little ways back, I think we should give a shout out to our follower Julie. Who oh, Julie! Recently mentioned that she uh, replaced a trail lock. Mm -hmm. Out uh, in the past uh, section, I think in, that was in section four. So I think I'm gonna pick up a, a trail book. Carry that with me in case. The, Keep it the, handy. Yeah, we can drop mm -hmm. it off if we find um, a log book that's full. Good, Good idea, idea, Julie. <coughs> Thanks, Julie. I'm ready to sign the trail log at the Brink Shelter. There it is. It's been a pretty steep climb after we left the shelter. Yeah, it was. Uh... Kind of like starting all over again. This, I think, uh, you're looking across the wall, Hack Valley, uh, with the uh, Pocono Plateau in the distance. And we're on a ridge line of Blue Mountain right now. See the fire tower? <laughs> Where? Wow, way way back that way, right? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna see that on here, but it's out there. These are 
older, right? The Rockies are the youngest. Really? Yeah. That's why there's no foothills. They, they were the latest, the latest eruption. So this is old, like us. <laughs> <laughs> it's appropriate. How are those uh, boots doing there, Jazz? Okay. Yeah? yeah? No problem? Yeah. All right, we'll check back later. They are hookahs. Dad's really proud of these uh, hookahs. This is just fantastic because this view just keeps going on and on. It wasn't just at that one spot that we stopped. All along this ridge line here. That's what makes uh, hiking the Appalachian Trail in New Jersey special. This is not like the Sopranos. This is not the Turnpike. This is not Jersey Shore. This is North Jersey. Beautiful mountain range with amazing views. People just don't realize it until you get out here and see it for yourself. I don't know, but... Was that a crab walk? <laughs> yeah. Well, it started slipping again, so I'm not taking any chances. Yeah, sign down. But this sign is this is where we're crossing into the uh, Delaware Water Gap National Recreation Area. We're heading up Bird Mountain now, and I don't believe there's going to be any views once we get to the top of here. But uh, we're doing some more elevation changes right now. Then uh, Rattlesnake Mountain is after Bird. Rattlesnake is supposed to have some good views. pushing our way up Rattlesnake Mountain right now and uh, we gotta keep an eye out for a little side trail up at the top. It'll take us over to a little edge with a viewpoint where I think we'll make set up camp for lunch. Do you see some views off to your right there Jess? Yep. Better if this tree was out. Well don't stand behind the tree. Oh, we just passed the summit of Rattlesnake Mountain. Apparently this side trail, according to the trail guide, is a little ways down yet. a little unmarked side trail that we think is going to take us to a viewpoint where we can park it and have some lunch. Yeah, it looks like. Can we get any shade anywhere? Or? Yeah, some here, down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, right, right. Which is there? Good spot. How's that gourmet sandwich? Mmm. Now who made that for you? My buddy Kevin. Sarge. No, uh -huh. Sarge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, John. Sarge. Sarge made it for me. Thanks, Sarge. <laughs> it's better with bacon on it, though. I got bacon on mine. Jazz declined bacon this time. Mm -hmm. Bacon makes everything better. What do you got over there, Fossil? Cheese I forgot to mention that there's a, an additional fee on this hike when you include lunch. Oh, put it on my account. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some very nice views up here. The rocks are also very slanted. So uh, footing is a little tricky. But, uh, I think we're looking at 
to the west again over the Wolpack Valley. Beautiful. Describe that sandwich again. So the chicken was super tender and had a really nice flavor. It was tangy without, you know, it had some some heat to it, a little spice to uh, you it. You know, that's just black pepper, dude. I that's, go a little heavy on the black pepper. It did good. It kind of even gave it like a little crust on oh, it. Where'd the crust nice. come from? Oh, uh, well, that's the breading. That's the you, know, you, it, breading you know, it's flour, on? egg, and breadcrumbs. Yeah, the, the you know, pan, pan fry it first to get it brown, then it goes in the oven to finish it off. Uh, it was, it was nice. A nice, and the uh, lettuce and tomato and mayo was perfect amount. Delicious. Thank you. Excellent. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Now go show us where that side trail is and get us off of this <laughs> bridge. <laughs> Falls Trail. Did you guys come up uh, Buttermilk Falls? We just came up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's a steep trail, right? It's not, it's not a not steep trail. Isn't it? What are you guys doing? Uh, we're hiking the, the AT through New Jersey. Nice. Um, we're section hiking it as day hikes. Uh, there's six sections. We're on the fifth section today, nice. uh, which wow. is 15 miles long. We started up at Culver's Gap. Uh, we're finishing down at Millbrook Road. Yeah. And uh, then we only got one section left, didn't we? <laughs> Congratulations! 15 miles, 15 today. miles today. What yeah. Are you, what do you want? Uh, I think we're about eight. Yeah. Oh, right. Halfway. Halfway yeah. yeah. A little more. <laughs> you guys you have a full day. Nice day. Thank you. You enjoy. Good luck take care. Yeah. <clears throat> we're gonna take a little side detour over to the Crater Lake parking area. Check out the restroom facilities. Yeah. There is Crater Lake through the trees there. Looks like it. Down at the uh, Crater Lake parking area. Picnic area is off to the right. Let's go see if these things are open. Hey! <laughs> One of them's open. There's paper in here. Down here at Crater Lake. Right here. So we came down to AT here right. and we detoured off on the Crater Lake Loop Trail in the parking lot here. So we don't have to go back that way. We can take the, the Loop Trail back over here and hook up with the AT here. Keep going. Yeah. So I don't know if we can say we completed this section if we missed that little piece. <laughs> Glaciers receded north, caught yep. in Mount Top Lake. And it was the glaciers from um, Minnesota or Wisconsin, Wisconsin, I believe. But yeah, but there was like three, three different times where they came down and receded. Oh wow! Again. Well, well, doing well. Thank you. How you doing? Beautiful day. Is that somebody swimming out there? Yeah. With you? No. Oh. No way. Well, I hope she's with somebody. I don't think that's a great idea to be swimming on your own. Yeah, yeah. Nice. So this would be a nice place for lunch if it wasn't so long into the hike, you know. This is it. We just had a little bushwhacking uh, adventure. Uh, Sarge picked the wrong trail. That's never happened before. I to listen to Twitch. Twitch said, the trail's off here to the left. No, it's not. I listened to Sarge. Oh, I didn't tell you to listen to me. So I guess that's what's holding the backside of the lake. Yeah, I hope <laughs> it doesn't break. <laughs> What type of stink you think that is? It's, it's not a rattler. No, it's not a rattler. I don't think it's a copperhead. Yeah. It's just yellow and black stripe. Yeah. 
Jazz? Yes. Are you crabby? No? Your toes are hurting you? Off. Wow, it's been a long, rocky hike down from Crater Lake. Uh, but we're finally getting down by Blue Mountain Lakes Road. 18 north the way we came. I think we got to go up this way a little bit and then hang a left. And then, uh, we got about three more miles to go yet. Uh, I got to admit I'm a little beat up. But I'm still ahead of these guys. Here we come. Get a little parking area here. Side detour, catch a view of Fairview Lake here. No, it's not a great view. Yeah. This is still even blocked, but this is a nice, whole nice panorama view here. Rocks are like this. Layers, like? What does that mean? That yeah. That at one point um, it was exposed from underneath the seas, like when everything is covered and you know, this, it lays down all the sediment, but when it gets these cracks like this, um, it was exposed. Twitch is removing a star from this hike because we missed the last view. And it was an important one. It was one I've been looking forward to for a long time. Out over Camp Nobi Bosco and Sand Pond. Uh, we tried to find it, couldn't find it. But what's so important about that view? Well, back in the summer of 1979, the original Friday the 13th movie was filmed there. That's right, it's also known as Camp Crystal Lake. And I was so looking forward to getting a view of that. And I couldn't find it. So if anybody, if anybody knows how to find that, Post some uh, coordinates of where that viewpoint is out in the uh, comment section, and hopefully one day we'll get back here to check it out. Uh, final descent down here, uh, near the end of the, the section. Uh, at the bottom of this, uh, we should be passing Beaver Pond before we make it back out to Millbrook Road. Uh, it's very steep. Like Jazz pulled her trekking poles out. I'm complaining about her toes hurting. So I guess the new boots didn't do the trick. <laughs> well, oh, how about like right there? Yeah, this whole thing. This whole thing? Oh, yeah. Is that all beaver dam stuff? Yeah. Uh, we're finally reaching Millbrook Road, and uh, right here is the uh, slightly larger <laughs> parking lot um, from the pull-off that we used. But I tell you, it's not a heck of a lot larger. There's only two cars here. Oh good, my car's still there. Looks like you even got a little spot for a couple more cars along the shoulder here, where these folks parked. Well guys, it seemed like that section was never going to end. Well, it's a long, long one. one. <laughs> I'm pretty beat up. Um, I think it's, it's got the last section beat as yeah. far as... Uh, everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. Just uh, <laughs> distance, uh, elevation changes, Ooh. and we're all pretty beat up. Difficulty. Rocks. Yeah. Rocks. I got almost 16 miles. Yeah. Almost 10 hours. Yeah. Long day. Long day. Okay. So good news is there's Six. only one section one left. One section yeah. left. <laughs> one more section.